halfway through the games already. This video will be the week 3 tier list for Metaverse Champions games. And without further ado, let's get started. Our first game is Bacon. Yeah, this is a piggy ripoff type game, you know? It's event, it's really bad. I'm putting in trash. First, you have to complete four different rounds and they're on different maps. So there's like one crystal on one map and then same thing with the other three. And I had to do this in really small servers or server hop just to get the right map because you needed the four maps and people will vote other maps, not the ones that you want. Next, we have balls. I'm putting this game in annoying. The reason why is that first, there's competition. So you have to make it to the top of the balls. And then whenever an HA crate drops from the sky, you have to press E or click on it 20 times. And yeah, that's not that hard. I just use an auto clicker. But this thing is really annoying because you have to climb all the way up. And if there are more than 1,000 balls or maybe 2,000, then it will just take a really long time to go up. Now we have Build Island. I don't find this game very fun, but I'm just going to put in average just because it doesn't take that long. You have to go on five different people's islands, touch an AJ crate. Some of the islands, some people put freebies, but a lot of the time people make you work for it. And I really don't want to work for something that's in an event. Next we have Build It. This is a building competition game, kind of like, I, I guess you could call it like build battle game where you build something based on the topic and then people vote. Obviously you can rig the vote and you might get banned from their game, but I don't really care. I used two to three alt accounts in order to get this one. So I'm putting it annoying just because it's kind of biased. It's just all subjective. You're not guaranteed to get it. Now we have Clicker Realms X. In this game, you have to open five different eggs and the last one, the last egg that you have to hatch is probably the hardest. It takes like some 50 billion or so click and I'm just going to put this game in slow. It took maybe like 15 to 20 minutes and I'm pretty sure there were codes that gave you some pretty good like maybe OP pets. So that definitely sped it up. Now I want to dread. In this game, you have to shoot down a zombie wearing the AJ crate on its back. But that's pretty much all you do. And of course, there's RNG into that. And whenever there's RNG, I'm putting it in annoying. It could go in slow, but the thing is, the spawn rate of zombies with the crate is still quite low. And I find that annoying. Now it's Infectious Smile. This is like that monkey game where there are the humans and the infected. And if you step in a puddle as a human, you become the infected. And humans have a bat. Infected just have to grab onto the humans. So you have to get either three kills or fully infect three people. I think the points are shared, which means you can get two kills and one infection. But the thing is, getting either of them is quite a pain. So that is why I'm putting this game in average. But the thing is, you only need three and there's no RNG involved. Next, we have Rage Table Arena. I'm going to put this game in average. This event is actually really, really fast. All you have to do is go in shift lock and then spam all the tables. You're just going to get easy knockouts like that. And you need 10 knockouts, which is hardly anything. If you spawn camp, it's already fine. So this game, it's not necessarily fun, but it's fast. So I'm putting in average. Next, we have sinking ship. This game is quite buggy. But I mean, it's kind of fast as well. If you're on the good ship, I think it's the, the crew one, I think. The crate is in a noticeable spot. I found it whenever the ship was tilting and luckily the water doesn't kill you. So this game is not awfully bad. Now we have Super Golf. In this game you have to finish a round of the islands map. Each round can last a long time. So this game I'm just going to put in an annoying just because of how much you have to wait in order for the round to finish. Plus you have to do it on a specific map. That map might not be there to vote for. And people might not vote for it. Now I have Weapon Kit. This is a shooter game. You can either play in third person or first person. You have to place first, second, or third on a round. And f for me, I'm really good at FPSs. So, well, I'm not that good. But I'm decent at FPSs. So I'm putting this game in average. I mean, they didn't really try for the event. So I really can't put it in enjoyable. Now we're on to Fayo Shida. Our first game is Ant Colony Simulator and easily this game is going in trash. First of all this game's like Beast Swarm Simulator except worse. They make you do like 
what feels like 10 quests and these get like super super grindy super long this game took an hour for me and a lot of it you can just afk plus it's a walking simulator in order to big bank robbery despite its title this is actually a story game so i'm putting this game in enjoyable of course a good storyline deserves to be an enjoyable and although it was part of the main thing they added a little bit extra of a boss fight so yeah this game is pretty fast so it's good now we have break in in this game you had to go around and then talk to Faye, and then you had to spray five different graffiti marks so i'm gonna put this game in enjoyable this is definitely fast and easy plus it just feels normal and natural now we're on pacer test what you had to do in this game is walk all the way down to the principal's office which takes around 30 seconds and then you have to dodge the lasers and you just walk through them maybe jump at a few places so this game yeah it seems fine but when you die from the lasers and they're probably one tap you have to respawn all the way from the start again and walk for another 30 seconds so that's why i'm putting this game in slow in order to promo code adventures you have to fight some goblins to get phase headset and phase hat both of those are somewhat rare drops from the goblin thief which spawns whenever you kill enough goblins so i feel like this game was quite easy there were, there were a few bugs but they didn't bother that much so i'm gonna put this game in enjoyable it's easy it's fast and it's kind of well made i guess in order to roblox in high school oh gosh this game you have to find i think 13 or so shards around the map or whatever I, I don't know what they're called at this point you have to find them and it's pretty much impossible without a guide so for that reason i'm putting it annoying plus you have to just travel for a very long distance and walking simulators are not good in order to this game is pain let's just put it in trash good luck this game too easy though okay now we're on trainer this game is quite annoying you need to get three wins plus the game i think it's kind of glitchy i'm pretty sure this game is glitchy as well so that didn't really help plus the rounds can last quite a long time so cycling can take a while so i'm gonna put this game in annoying now is tropical resort tycoon in this game you just have to go on the, the other island tycoon and then complete it up until the chest thing so this game takes 10 to 15 minutes not that long except it's kind of like a waiting simulator because it's a tycoon and for that reason of course i can't put it any higher than average so i'm just gonna put it there now on vibe nyc this is another dancing game like ttd3 but i would say this game's a lot worse first when you join the game you just realize it's super super laggy i'm pretty sure it's because of the ui i checked the micro profiler and what you had to do was find quite a bit of crystals maybe 20 and they were at whack locations so this game definitely took quite a long time so i'm gonna put it in annoying other than that the second part was actually quite good now we're on to water park you have to collect 10 buoys or those rings and then you return them to the pirate guy and then after that you have to pick up four gems or so from four different colored rides it was pretty self-explanatory i guess and i could figure out without a guide so i'm gonna put this game in average it's definitely not trash now we have wizard cats this game i'm just gonna put in annoying this game is like mech warzone so it's high effort but the thing is they just slap in a trash requirement like level up five times and leveling up in, in this game can take quite a long time so this game took me maybe one and a half hours now we're gonna do sparks kilowatt and first we have arcade island 2 this game is also quite lacky probably because of the lighting and i'm just gonna put this in slow if you don't have the skill to do what i did the vault then you have to rely on rng by rolling the wheel but otherwise i did the vault i can reach like 80s and most of the jackpot amounts are lower than that and the jackpot is 1000 so you can get it on first try now on to Azir Mines, I'm gonna put this game in slow. Cause if you have progress in this game like me, it's it's super super easy. Or if you don't, then mining will take forever and getting down to around Y100 and lower just to find some rubies or you can just mine at the surface for some rare amethyst. 
but then it will take forever to mine. That's just slow, I guess. The orange and banana eats in this game. It's kind of like survive the killer, and so you have to survive from the banana. You have three lives, and wherever you lose a life, you get a few seconds of invincibility, and you, your walk speed gets increased. So it's really easy to escape the banana. Plus, you have to get maybe like seven purple bananas in order to complete the mission, and that's not that hard. So this game, I'm just going to put this in slow. Definitely can be hard, but it's not that bad. Now we're on to Bigfoot. This game, I'm just going to put it enjoyable. The mission is clearly labeled, which most games in the Metaverse Champions event aren't. So that's already a really good sign. Plus, all you have to do is get 300 damage on Bigfoot, and Bigfoot has maybe like a thousand health. So 300 is not that hard. Plus, you can do it between multiple rounds. Now we're on to Egg Hunt 2021 Enchanted Echoes. This is the unofficial egg hunt for this year, and undoubtedly it's going in Pog tier. I think we can all agree on this. This game definitely looks high effort, and it is. You can double jump, plus the entire storyline is well thought out. There's voice actors for Sparks and other things. It's just well made. Now we're on to Egg Simulator, and unlike Egg Hunt 2021, this game is just awful. I'm putting it annoying. You have to collect 200 rubies and 1000 eggs, so that definitely takes a long time. Maybe like 30 minutes for me. Plus 1000 eggs. If you have a magnet, it's not that hard. I have no idea where I got it from though. But if you don't, good luck. Now we're on to Fairytale Life Roleplay. This is like Roblox High School, but like kind of like Royal High ish. So, all you have to do in this, I'm just gonna put it enjoyable. I mean, it's a roleplay game. All you have to do is get a C or above in all your classes, and that's not that hard. Now we're on to Invisible Beast. In this game, you have to kill the beast, and then it will drop a thing. But the thing is, the beast is somewhat invisible. What I mean by that is that if you see the beast moving, you can see its outlines and how it kind of distorts its background. So then you can shoot at it. Of course, the rounds are awfully slow. Plus, if you die, well, good luck waiting for another round. Now we're on to Overlook Bay. What you have to do in this game is do several tasks in order to get the pet to max level. So that took quite a long time. So I'm going to put it in slow just because I don't really play Adopt Me much. So I don't know the standards for these types of games. But I'm sure people would say it's slow because I definitely think it is. Now we're on to Rage Runner. Oh boy, good luck. I'm going to put it in Annoying. You have to reach the end of the rounds. Of course, it's a Rage Runner. If you die, you respawn at the start. Kind of like Tower of Hell. These type of games definitely will make you angry. Now on to Slip Blocks. Oh boy, I love this game so much. I'm just going to put it enjoyable. It's not good enough to be in Pog tier. But it's definitely really fun. So, you can push people. And I like pushing people and, and trolling in these funny games. So, other than that, what you have to do for the event is you have to pick up maybe five or so parts. I'm probably wrong on that, but you have to do it on a specific map, and they're at pretty noticeable locations. Maybe not the first one, but the other ones are along the path. The event is, I don't know, but like I like the I like the play style. In order to Tower Heroes, this game definitely goes in enjoyable. The event was definitely well made. You got the Sparks Hero, which is extremely OP. Plus, in order to beat the boss, all you really had to do was spam max level Sparks and just sell them, rebuy them once they went out of range. Easy win. Now we're on to Red. So our first game is Arcade Empire. In this game, you have to grind a bit in order to get $500. And then you have to buy the Ren Chest and wait for 10 Spirits to come in. So... Yeah, this is, I mean, I'm putting it enjoyable just because the grind isn't that awful. But otherwise, if it wasn't like that, then I would definitely have put this in something way lower. In order to broken ragdolls, this game was kind of buggy. Sometimes some of the platforms you would just fall through. And I think that was like really annoying. But other than that, it was just pretty annoying. So I'm going to put it in annoying. Plus, if you choke... You lose your opportunities and you have to be the first person to reach the end. Now we're on to Fab's difficulty to our obby. You have to collect, oh boy, more shards and crystals. 
at least these locations weren't that awful so i'm gonna put this game in average it didn't take that long but otherwise it's not something i was looking forward for in order to journey to the sun i really don't get how this game has a high rating but anyways i'm gonna put this game in average it's really really quick maybe five minutes at most plus it has friendly respawn points they are onto limited simulator 2 and what i can say about this game is that it's definitely really good you can skip the quest and it just has a lot of meme characters so i'm gonna put this game in hog tier now we're on to monsters of etheria i really didn't like this game's event so basically you had to collect five or so different things around the map plus they were at some weird locations so without a guide this would also be pretty much impossible that's why it's going in annoying now on to obby king remastered this game i'm just gonna put it in pog tier i like playing the game itself but the event was fine as well so you had to collect five crystals you first had to talk to ren though and ren would show you where they are if you know where they are then you don't need a guide maybe if you're really bad at navigating you might need one but i really didn't need it myself so this game's going in pog in order to road to Granby's, this game is definitely high effort but the problem i have with it is that it's just kind of weird so i'm gonna put this in annoying also you have to drive all the way to the temple which can take maybe five minutes but what i did is that i had an all that i could teleport to but other than that inside the temple people might fight you plus it's not easy in order to role planes 3 in this game you had to you have to fly to this one island and then pick up five shards and then you go through the waterfall to claim your prize so this game is not that bad i'm just gonna put in slow but the thing is i had to use like one of the fast plates or the ones that look fast so i used a bomber it reached really high speeds but even with that it took quite a long time to get to the island now we have the piggy sins and this is a piggy ripoff of course of course what you have to do here is you have to pick up the ranch chest in the area that you get the white key and then you go back and escape so that's not that hard except this game is quite buggy so i'm putting it annoying and everyone just leaves the game so sometimes you get stuck being piggy also the first person that escapes gets it just because of how buggy it is then we're on to undead defense tycoon this game i mean it was all right except the requirements for it you had to get 100 eggs i think only zombies with eggs drop them so i mean the grinding in this game is quite easy but you have to kill quite a bit of things and although it doesn't take that long it's still kind of bad so i'm gonna put it in slow finally we're on to welcome to farm town this is a grinding type country styled game so you had to do quite a bit in order to complete this. If you have progress, it was really fast though. You could just get the dog bed and place it down and make the dog dig up something. But otherwise, you had to complete the entire tutorial and that could easily take 30 minutes. That's why I'm putting this game in annoying. And that's going to be it for this tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the last tier list video. Plus, I will be making some more videos on other metaverse stuff. But of course, the event ends soon. So good luck to you guys and also join the Discord server.